Attention viewer, you are watching the world's biggest Monster Truck Diecast YouTube channel. This is Monster Jam OCD. Well, welcome back everyone. Today is yet another Reveal the Steel video. Last time it was very popular. I'm very happy about that because the Reveal the Steel trucks are actually really cool in my opinion. And I think a lot of you guys did like them. So we're back again with this classic setup, the cold water and the warm water. Cold water will change the paint color back to normal. Warm water will reveal the steel. But for now, we are gonna move these out of the way and I'm going to show you guys the Mix 8 Doubles assortments. The first one we have here in this assortment is Grave Digger versus Grave Digger number one blue. So this is the grain truck as it's called, the classic paint scheme before Grandma Grave Digger came about. And then we have the standard Grave Digger from modern day Monster Jam. This was also featured in my previous video with Max D. It did have a different setup though. The roll cage was not clear and the rims were actually a clear green. This time we have purple clear rims and a clear green roll cage with the gray chassis. Then we have the classic grain truck on a normal chassis, unlike the five pack. I don't have the actual truck right here, but you can see Grandma Gravedigger has the vintage leafer chassis. It used to feature that, but they decided to put on a normal chassis for this release. And on the back of the box, this, uh, for some reason, it looks like it's messed up. This will probably be fixed before it actually goes out to the public. The Megalodon truck is missing from the back. It's actually the higher education. It actually gives us a quick glimpse into the future of higher education. They have retooled the entire truck completely. After I had talked about how Mattel did it better, they actually went about and made it even better than Mattel by adding way more detail. They actually got the roof hatch on there as well. So this is this pack and we're gonna unbox it right now. So here they are, the grain truck and grave digger standard. Nothing inside the box. You can see they have this chrome insert with the truck, water, and then it's the revealed edition, reveal the steel. And again, the French on the packaging is so that Canada can get these faster than last year. So that's pretty cool. So you can see there's some French on here. And uh, that's pretty much it for the card. So here is grave digger. I'll give you guys a quick look at grave digger. Nothing really extremely new about it. Uh, this actually looks like an old tool edition with the door on the side. This could be fixed by the time it goes out to the public, so this could change, but mine does have a door on it. You can see it has these dark purple uh, rims in a transparent color, very nice. Also the transparent lime green roll cage, or a semi-transparent one, I should say, with a gray chassis and the classic paint scheme all around. So pretty cool. And then we have the grain truck, which is a blue panel. So they have the blue around the sides, which is the part that will be revealed. Obviously the chrome is not gonna reveal into anything else but chrome. So they kept that painted. And then we have the uh, logos here. I think they will be correcting that capital C eventually, just not on this edition, but they are aware that that is incorrect. So they will be looking into that. Then we have a black Moss Jam logo, which you will be able to see better after I put into the warm water. And then here's the front, the back. The roll cage is a light blue transparent and the dark blue rims for transparent transparency as well. And then we have a gray chassis. So let's go ahead and reveal the steel of these two trucks real quick. So I could show you guys what it looks like. And uh, let me scoot this a little bit forward here. So warm water will change the paint color to the silver. You can see it changing there. And here's what that looks like. So same exact thing as last time with Grave Digger, uh, just turns to silver. The chrome edition of Grave Digger very nice though with the purple. It looks really cool with the purple rims and the clear roll cage. And then bringing it back in the icy water that I have up here, we have the black paint scheme returning instantly with the Reveal the Steel. So there it is, the Grave Digger Classic. And now we have the Grain Truck Grave Digger. It actually looks really cool when it's revealed. So let's put it in. Here goes the blue, instantly gone. And then this is what it looks like when it's done. You can see the back part here actually fading as we watch it. It'll go away in just a moment. There it is, fully gone by itself. And here's what it looks like in silver. I think it looks really sick. People were saying, why would they use that if it already has silver on it? Well, I think it looks pretty awesome this way. And you can see the black Monster Jam logo is now way more visible with the paint gone. Very awesome. And then we're gonna bring it back here with the icy water. So there you go. And now it's back to blue. 
And that is the Gravedigger versus Gravedigger pack. And now we are on to the next pack, which is the Megalodon versus Octanator pack. One of the coolest packs, I think, of this set, because I'll show you why in a moment. Here they are. So this is what was on the back of the box last time. Obviously, higher education was in the way of Megalodon, but this is what Megalodon looks like. This is what the Octanator looks like. And uh, there's the logos. Actually, can't see that. There's the logos up here, color change, all that stuff. And then we have the back of the box, which also has an error on the back. The Alien Invasion, which is coming out later this year, has replaced Radical Rescue, which you guys will see today. And then it has Blue Thunder. And then also I forgot to mention 91 degrees Fahrenheit is what you need to change the pink color to reveal the steel. And here it is. Here's this. And we're going to unbox it right now. So Megalodon is actually really interesting because it's a light kind of almost a gray color already. So when you change it, it's kind of hard to tell if you even changed it, but I will do my best to show that on camera. You can see it has a dark blue chassis with a light blue roll cage in transparent color, and then dark transparent teal blue, or kind of almost blue green rims, and then white tires, kind of like waves on the shoreline with the whitewash, so that's pretty cool that they have that. And same exact format for Octanator, but in reverse, we have the dark maroon chassis with a light red roll cage and light red rims in transparent and then we have the white tire same color kind of like a um, almost like a gray white there and then classic paint schemes for both so we're going to try these right now so keep a sharp eye out for Megalodon it's kind of hard to tell but here we go with these two pull this forward so you guys can see it a little better uh, so Megalodon's first here we go this is the paint scheme and oh actually it's a little easier to see than I thought um, I will keep the tail untouched so you can see the tail color Again, it's kind of hard to tell. It's already changing by itself, but um, yeah, it's you can tell kind of. It's silver. Uh, the paint is gone, and I think it looks pretty cool. It actually looks like a great white shark now. So there is the Megalodon. The fins are a slightly lighter shade of blue than usual, and there's the logo. There's the front here and this side, and it looks pretty cool. And now we're going to bring it back. So again, it's it's not the easiest thing to see in the world. This part's still silver, but this part's the blue. So there's that fine line between if it's blue or not. But uh, it is a little bit different. So there is the Megalodon. And then by far, one of my favorite Reveal the Steel trucks uh, of the entire series so far is the Octanator. And here we go. Octanator is changing colors right now. So sick. This one's really awesome. So you can see the tentacles or the suction cups area of the tentacles have remained red where the maroon body has changed colors. So you can see there's the red Monstrum logo now way more visible. And this is just an awesome truck. I love this one. They did a great job with this. And then if we bring it back, now it's back. So there it is. The pink color will change on its own back here. You'll watch it change. Um, so there's Octanator, one of my favorites. I think it's the coolest of the set here that we have between Megalodon and the Octanator. So you can change back by itself. That's pretty cool. So there's Octanator and Megalodon. And now we're going on to the next sea creature pack, kind of. We have the Captain's Curse versus Crustacean. So another independent making it into the double packs with the Reveal of Steel. Captain's Curse in the black paint scheme and Red Crustacean back again with red tires this time. And here's the back of the box. It has the Gravedigger pack. Pretty awesome. And let's unbox this thing right now. So here they are, the crustacean on the front here. Pretty cool. And here's the trucks themselves. We have Captain's Curse. It has a kind of transparent gray roll cage, really dark gray charcoal color, uh, a dark gray chassis, and transparent dark gray rims or black rims, whatever you want to call them. And then we have maroon or kind of a burgundy color uh, red tire with it matching the bandana color of the actual truck. So great matching with the color. And there's the paint scheme. So that's pretty cool. And then we have Crustacean, which is slightly darker than usual, just because the paint color had to be that way. It's almost the color of the Octanator, um, just a slight shade lighter than Octanator, but it is a maroon kind of Crustacean. It still has the custom concept roof that says Monster Lobster. Uh, the real truck ran a beaver and it ran a fisherman, and then it ran nothing before that. But it's never run this roof, but it is a custom concept roof. And uh, there's the claws, the side panel. So you'll watch as this changes, it actually will become more apparent. The blue color is gonna stand off this truck way more than it does right now with the red. It has the same chassis, roll cage and rim color as Captain's Curse, but light red tires instead of the maroon color. So here we go. Let's reveal the steel of the Captain's Curse versus Crustacean pack. Captain's Curse is up first. 
And it is very reminiscent of the Hot Wheels Monster Jam Chrome Series Captain's Curse of the Past. So there is Captain's Curse in Chrome. Pretty awesome. And uh, there is this part. And then this part will change by itself. So that's pretty cool. And then I will, I'll leave that one to do it in a minute. We have the crustacean here. Watch the blue color. It's pretty awesome how much more uh, prominent it becomes when it's actually revealed. So crustacean's really cool too. Uh, so a Zamac crustacean. But here's the blue color. Look how much more it stands off. Isn't that crazy? So there is crustacean in silver. I think this is also a sick paint scheme. A chrome crustacean in real life would be awesome. So there's crustacean and Captain's Curse. Now we're going to bring them back into normal edition. So it takes a little while to make the metal kind of cool down. But there it is. The tail will eventually change on its own. And then if we do Captain's Curse, also will change back. So you can see the tail is now fully back. So that's pretty cool. Matchups so far in these packs have been awesome. Gravedigger versus Gravedigger makes sense. Megalodon versus an octopus makes sense. Captain's Curse versus a crustacean, kind of like a lobster on a boat. That's pretty cool. And then the last pack is the Radical Rescue versus Blue Thunder, which I, oh, there's actually water in here. Sorry about that. Which I think of as an emergency response team coming to help maybe like a downed power line or some kind of emergency with electricity. So that's pretty cool that they have an emergency response team against a electrical problem. And then we have the back of the box, which has Crustacean and Captain's Curse in their Chrome editions. And here's the front. Let's unbox it now. And here they are, the Blue Thunder versus the Radical Rescue. Pretty awesome. And let's scoot these forward to review them. So here is the Radical Rescue. It has a slightly darker paint scheme, similar to Crustacean, where it's not pure red, it's kind of a darker red with these clear light red rims and a yellow transparent roll cage with a gray chassis. It's actually my favorite reveal of steel so far, you'll see why. And then we have Blue Thunder, which has the same exact roll cage color, yellow, which people were kind of confused about, but I, I think it's pretty cool. It actually breaks up the blue scheme and it reminds me of electricity, so that's pretty awesome. And then it has the Blue Thunder body with the dark blue rims and a gray chassis. So we're gonna do this now with the Radical Rescue and the Blue Thunder. Radical Rescue is first because, well, it's in the pack first and it's also my favorite. So here we go, Radical Rescue, changing colors. I really like how the yellow stands off this truck when it's revealed. That's really awesome. You guys may disagree with me, but I think it's actually one of the best ones. So there's Radical Rescue. I'll leave that one right there. Let me scoot this back just a bit. There we go. Okay, and then we have Blue Thunder which is also one of my favorites. The blue, again, for some reason, blue stands off chrome, light blue specifically, very well. So here's the Zamac edition or Reveal the Steel edition of Blue Thunder right there. That's really cool. I noticed that they did take off monstergym.com on the front grill. I'm not sure why, but here's the truck itself. Just an awesome scheme in revealed form. And there's that roll cage. The roll cage actually looks much better without the blue paint. It actually matches better without it. So we're gonna bring back Blue Thunder. So here you go. And then we'll bring back the Radical Rescue. Takes a second, there we go. All right, so there's Radical Rescue brought back. And that will conclude the Reveal the Steel Packs for Mix 8 Doubles for 2020 Spin Master Monster Jam. I can't wait to see what they have next. I know that we have a couple more coming out, which include Bakugan Dragonoid, Son of Digger, Drask Attack, Mystery Machine, Soldier Fortune. I've seen in the yearbook so many different ones. I can't wait to see what they all look like and their paint schemes. So until then, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think about these trucks in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. This is Reiner Monster Jam OCD, signing out.